Welcome to the Casual Cast. Episodes every Sunday on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And now, your host, Casual Savage. Hello and welcome back to the Casual Cast, a podcast which you can be a part of. If you'd like to be a part of this podcast, simply contact me via social media and tell me a topic. Today I'm alone and I'm going to be discussing Apple's upcoming event which is happening on March 27th and I'm going to go through what we can expect. Now before I tell you what we can expect, I also want you guys in the comments to let me know what you want to expect and what you actually think will happen. Now the event is said to be based on education. Now there's multiple points backing this up. Number one, it's being held in a high school. Usually it's going to be held in the Bay Area. This time it's a high school in Chicago. Number two, the invitation itself says, let's take a field trip. And then at the bottom of the invitation, it also says, join us to hear creative new ideas from teachers and students. Now that's all I'm going to talk about the invitation part. I'll now go on to the main reason why you click this video, what to actually expect at this event. So the first thing I'm going to be saying is the new Apple Pencil. Now the reason I say this is because if you look at the invitation, I will put a picture on screen as well. The way of the font and the way the Apple logo is presented, it looks like it is drawn on. So it could suggest a new Apple Pencil. And now of course the Apple Pencil was introduced with the iPad. So there's the next new thing. I also believe there will be a new iPad. Now the reason I say this is because iPads have been used throughout schools and Apple do tend to push education through iPads the most, hence why they also brought out a keyboard for the iPad to make it like a mini laptop that students can use. Now an update on the iPad design, it is said to look more like the iPhone X. For example, a narrow bezel, no more home button, face ID, an emoji, and of course what comes with that is a new camera. Now that I'm referring back to the larger iPad at 9.7 inch. And there is another iPad which hasn't been updated since September 2015. That is the iPad mini. Maybe that will come back. I'm not 100% sure on this, but since September 2015, it's been a while. Maybe this time they will announce a new one. The next thing to expect is a new MacBook Air. Now, although MacBooks are very expensive, MacBook Air is the cheapest one, but still expensive. But anyway, the reason I say MacBook Air is because Google Chrome books, they're used in schools. Macs, of course, or Apple, they would like their stuff to be used in schools as well. Hence why they have started with the iPads. Now they can move on to their MacBook Airs. So maybe it'll come at a discounted price for schools. And the reason this will be a good idea is because number one, of course, it's Apple. It's going to be a reliable software. And on top of that, it's also very lightweight and it is only 13 inches. But of course, due to the price, it is very pricey compared to a Google Chromebook. Whether schools use it or not, it's up to them. So the first three I just mentioned are the ones I think could be announced, especially the iPad and the MacBook Air. The iPad mini 2. I'm not too sure simply because it's the iPad mini and I'm not sure how well the sales don't compare to the normal iPads. So I'm now going on to other things that Apple could potentially release or announce at this event or even release later on in the year. So the first one is the iPhone SE 2. So this was a very popular device. It's the same size as an iPhone 5, of course, SE. And I actually own the device myself. It was a very popular device. It was a very good device in my opinion. It had a good build to it and it felt very secure compared to these newer slimmer devices. Now I do think Apple will announce this later on in the year. However, I don't think they will announce it at this event. The main reason I'm saying that is simply because this event is based on education and introducing an iPhone, it probably wouldn't fit in well. Now another device which is similar to the iPad mini in a way Apple hasn't touched it is the Mac Mini. Since 2013, the Mac Mini has never been touched by Apple. Maybe Apple could introduce this at this event. Since it is a Mac Mini, of course, it is going to be a smaller desktop. So it would be ideal for students. And the final one is Apple bringing their own TVs and movies. Now, I already know they have the Apple TV. However, there is rumors they are said to push a lot harder on this in the next four years. 
A lot of information of this is already out there, however, I'll keep it brief. At the moment, I'm not too sure if they will be putting it as a separate name or it'll all come a part of the Apple TV. It would make sense if they'd done that. But if they don't, what is already said is that they will be planning to release movies onto their systems within two to three weeks after they're released in the cinemas. Now that is going to be bad news for cinemas. Now you might be questioning yourself why? Why would Apple want to do this? Well according to Bloomberg they had an interview with Apple CEO Tim Cook and apparently according to him he wants to double Apple's revenue by 2020. And of course that means more money for him. Now it's reported that Apple's budget for this type of content is going to be 8.3 billion dollars. Now it's important I state this because Netflix's budget was $6.8 billion and you can see that has been a huge success. Also there has been talks that the Obamas are going to be starting a series, whether it's on Netflix, whether it's on even this new Apple system and apparently there is a bidding war going on where it's going to happen, either between Amazon, um, Apple's system, whatever it's going to be called and of course Netflix. At the moment, we don't know. But that's all the information I have for you at this moment in time. And as for this event, that is all I have. However, there is another major Apple event that happens every year, WWDC, which is happening on June 4th, 2018. That's going to be a big event. And hopefully we'll see more different types of devices released then. But like I mentioned at the start, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you expect at this Apple event or what you want to expect at this Apple event. Just leave them in the comments below. But that's it for this podcast. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and I'll be back for another one next week.